Hi guys, so I want to point out a very obvious thing that you're going to notice in this video. Um, my hands are dry and I don't know why I didn't cream my hands before the video and I don't know why I didn't notice while I was filming that my hands were dry. Please ignore. <laughs> don't come for me in the comments. I know, I know, I, I just was not re-filming this whole video because of dry hands. So yeah, please ignore. I, I apologize if my dry hands offend you. Welcome to another checking in chit chat on the Bougie Budget UK channel. Um, I'm filming this, uh, I think it's like four o'clock. Yeah, it's literally four o'clock um, on Thursday. So if it is dark, if it's shadowy, I apologize. It's, it's the UK winter. It is what it is. But yes, today I am doing a check in. What have I spent over the last week? And then I actually have money to stuff. I have a one second. Yep. Yeah, I have a um side hustle cash stuffing. So let's get through the check-in so that we can do the cash stuffing, which is the fun part. Okay, so okay, my my money fell out, but it's fine. Doesn't really matter. So I did I go food shopping? I've probably spent some money on food somewhere at some point. Um, I actually get paid again on Monday, um, but only for half of the month because I'm now officially off work until January. Thank God. <laughs> so even yes, yesterday was my first full day off and I was like, oh, I should be logged into my laptop. And I was like, no, you're off now. You're off. I don't, I'd start my new job on the 2nd of January so yeah I am I don't say I'm unemployed because we don't put those type of things into the atmosphere and into our lives I am off work <laughs> okay until January I'm on a break until January so uh food did I spend money on food I can't remember but I have 20 40 65 um 66 67 68 69 70 pounds and 20 pence which is actually a lot of money i've been using i was saying to you guys that i am uh, collecting tesco vouchers via user interviews market research sessions so i haven't really been spending cash on food and i don't plan to start my budget from my 18th of december payday i will probably wait until like the last week of december but you know over if you celebrate christmas anyway over that festive period that festive week you're just eating christmas leftovers so i doubt that this money will get touched but we shall see fun on the other hand is all gone <laughs> so i i what do i want to say no we <laughs> have decided that we're going to go on a date night once a month so we spend a lot of time together indoors but we don't spend a lot of time together out doing things so we are going to go on a date night every month um and this one is going to be next week friday we're going axe throwing and then we're going to go well we're going for dinner then we'll go axe throwing and then probably for some drinks so i bought the axe throwing tickets online they were 80 pounds i want to say which i don't know if that's expensive but it's london like we're literally going into central london so whatever <laughs> it's done now um and then yeah he'll get dinner and then we'll get some drinks but yeah fun is all gone never stuffed hair this month that wasn't a good grammar. I didn't stuff hair this month. Um, lashes. I got my lashes done last week, Friday. That's a lie. Last week, Saturday. And then I took... What I realised is I get paid before my next lash appointment, which is at the end of the month. So I took the £30 out and I'm just going to use that to book another nail appointment um, because I have to pay a £30 deposit. So yeah, and then I've budgeted for my next lash appointment. Does that make sense? Yeah, I've budgeted for my next lash appointment, so for my next salary payment. So yeah, I didn't need that £30, so that's gone. Nails didn't have anything. I did get a pedicure, but it only cost me £38 this time, so I've still got £6 left, because I put 40, 44 in there. So who knows <laughs> what I'm going to do with £6, but it's there. We'll keep it until... um. I've restuffed my envelopes again and then I might have spent some money on personal care so there's 30 pounds in cash and then I've got one two three four in change or 450 what did I buy 
What did I buy? Oh, I bought some plasters. I know that. Um, I don't remember what else. I know I went to Superdrug. I know I bought plasters, but I bought other things as well. Oh, I bought lip balm. And yeah, I can't remember the other thing. Oh, cotton buds. Like the oval cotton pads for when I'm um, doing my toner. So that is cash envelopes. I actually need this because I'm going to stuff some... I'm going to... Yeah, I'm going to stuff some of my side hustle money into there. And then on to... Um, sinking funds. It's, it's Yeah, it's kind of late for me. Because <laughs> if I was working now, by four o'clock, it's like, oh. And it's Thursday as well. I'll be like, oh, it's done. <laughs> Day's done. Um, nothing was spent for the baby. We talked about eating out last week. We are not going to talk about it again. Didn't spend anything from gifts. Home. Oh, I did spend something from home. So I bought um a uh, Bath and Body Works candle from Next, which was twenty nine fifty. Um, did I need a twenty nine fifty candle? No, but I wanted it. I bought the um. I'll show you actually. One second. So I bought this one, which you can hopefully see the sugared sugared snickerdoodle candle. And then sorry if this is blinding you, but look how pretty this is. Like it's got little baubles on it. They're not £29.50 baubles, but they're cute. And I wanted it, so I bought it. <laughs> and I had the money for it, okay? Um, the only other thing I need to get from home this month is... I want to get... Are they called poncettas? Poncettas? The red Christmassy flowers. I want to get some of those. Um, and they're like four or five pounds, I think, in Tesco. So that'll be fine. Because I still have six pounds for weed. Um... I think that's it. I didn't spend anything from shopping this month. This, this month. This week. I haven't actually spent anything from shopping this month. But I do want to get some trainers. So that will probably go in the bank. Uh, so that is that. Christmas in my sinking fund. Why am I saying sinking fund? In my savings challenge. Um, so I've got the pot in chase. I will pop up how much is in there. I think it's like 150 is in there now which is pretty good because again i've been using those um user interviews tesco um so do the market research news interviews you can then use the incentive to buy vouchers and i usually pick a tesco voucher because that's where i should do my food shopping and i have yeah i've done most of the food shopping i need to get the fresh stuff like meats veg cheese that kind of stuff and i'm gonna get that next week friday probably friday or saturday just depending on um what's going on but yeah so i don't know what i'm gonna do the rest of the money probably put into travel who knows but i think that's probably a good segue into side hustle cash stuffing so i have basically just been having a clear out now i'm off work um and in and in anticipation of me being off i've been clearing out stuff selling things and this is the money that I have from doing that. So I don't like to count it that way. Do that. Okay. So to stuff, we've got 51, 20, 40, 60, 75, 80. So we've got 180 pounds to stuff. So, most of this is going into travel, to be honest. £130 to donate travel. I promise that I'm going to do my 2024 plans video. It will probably be up... I'm trying to get up next week, um, but definitely before, obviously before the end of the year it will be up. I was going to film it today, but yeah. I had a busy day and then now i'm not bothered to film a second video if i'm honest i'm not bothered to do it so yeah it will probably be um next week or christmas week we shall see uh so 130 is going in so 250s and then a 20 and a 10 okay um and yeah the reason why i said about the 2024 video is because in that video i will talk about where i'm planning on going 
what my goal is of how much I want to save to be able to go on those holidays and yeah all of that fun stuff um I will have an Instagram post out by then as well talking about that topic of travel so if you can't wait until I am bothered to film the video um just go on to my Instagram page and I will talk about it there as well but here I will like show you the savings challenge I'm going to use. I will talk a bit more about um, how I'm going to save the money. Um, yeah, and then Instagram, you'll just get to see <laughs> pretty Canva graphics and a reader caption about me doing it rather than hearing me talk about it. So you can pick your poison. Um, so in holidays now, added 130. So I've got 51, 52, 53, 50. 4, 55, 56, 57, 58, 50, 9, 50, uh, 970, 990, 1, 1000, 110, yes, 130, 150, 170, 180, 190, 1100, and 5 and 10. Is that right? 1110. That is right, isn't it? Oh, wow. That's good. And most, to, the reason why I'm like, oh, is because. I had budgeted to put a lot more in from my salary, but I've also been dedicating a lot of side hustle money to this as well. So, wow, 11.10. Should I go and book a flight now? <laughs> I'm not going to go and book a flight now. Not right now. <laughs> oh, I like that. Yeah, 11.10. So really, I need to um, swap this money out for a placeholder and put that £1,000 in the bank. Yeah. Oh, I'm happy about that. I don't I kind of knew it was gonna be that much, but I didn't it didn't register to me until I've counted the cash. And that's probably why I love cash stuffing as well. It's like you feel like you've done something rather than you just transfer the money to different pots in your account. Um oh, okay. <laughs> and then I'm gonna put twenty-five pounds into this challenge, which is going towards my house deposit. So I've got most of the money in my lifetime I sell, but I'm adding 25 today. I picked up a placeholder, which I shouldn't. Okay, so in my lifetime I sell, I have contributed, I want to say £4,018. I want to say that's correct. And then you get your 25% bonus from the government. This is if you're in the UK. Maybe the UK and Ireland, I don't know. I was going to say the UK. Um, and then I've got, so yeah, one, two, three, four thousand that I've put into the ISA, lifetime ISA. And in cash, I've got 51, 52, 50, 270, 280, 290, 295, 300, which is good. So yeah, every thousand pounds goes into the bank. I know people are going to be like oh you're losing interest in terms of like i get interest um for the money i put into the lifetime i sell um and i could get my like a 25 percent um bonus quicker but i just prefer to do it by every thousand pounds what's what's like 10p interest that they're going to pay me because yeah interest is not that great these days um you know now i don't even know if i need to color one of these in I feel like I've got a lot to colour in, don't I? Because that's 4,000. And I said I've got 4,300, right? Yeah, I've got a lot to colour in. Wow, okay. Um, Purple. Sorry, I had to go back and count that again just to make sure because I don't know why I hadn't coloured it in previously, but oh well. So yeah, £4,018 that I've put into my lifetime ISA 
and then £300 in cash. So I'll just let that dry. And then the last thing I'm going to stuff is my personal care cash envelope. It's a bit random because I don't usually add extra money to that, but I'm a skincare junkie. Like, I'm, that's not true. I'm not a skincare junkie, but I am. I have a very, uh, what's the word I want to use? Precise skincare routine. And I use the same products all the time and I use them really... Wow, okay, let's try that again. I use them religiously. So, um, yeah, they're expensive. Like, I like Clinique, La Roche-Posay, um, Vichy, CeraVe, but CeraVe is like a high street brand that you can, it's not that expensive. But yeah, I like certain skincare products and I don't deviate from those products. And I find that I run out of certain things a lot, like toner, I run out of that a lot and I need to always order it online. So I wanted to just top this up a little bit. Um, so yeah, if I run out of something, I can just dig in here and get them get what I need. So I added 25, so I've got 20, 40, 55. And what was that? Six pounds of change. One, two, three, four, fifty. So what was that? 59.50? Yeah, we're, we're going to say it's 59.50 because I can't bother to count it again. So that is that. That is my side hustle money stuffed. Hopefully there'll be more next week. The last thing that we need to do is this money. So I've got one pound £1.38, which I'm going to put into my spare change jar. And if you've been watching, oh, oh, if you've been watching, you know this is an extra contribution to my stocks and shares ISA at the end of the year, um, which I'll probably do next week. I'll do a short probably. Um, because I'm not going to count it up myself. I have a NatWest account, so I can just go and um, chuck it into the bank and they can count it for me. But yeah, that's it. Hopefully this wasn't too... <laughs> Hopefully there was energy in this video, because like I said, if it was a normal working day, four o'clock is, is close to five o'clock, and I'm when is five o'clock, laptop gets shut, okay? <laughs> But yeah, I've got a bit of a break now, um, so I'm going to go and enjoy that. I hope you have had a wonderful week. You have an amazing weekend and a great week once it comes. And I will see you next week, Friday, for more of the same. Bye, guys. <laughs>